Hi friends the video has been specially made for students who want to learn about noun and its different types. Please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive regular updates from Test Your English Grammar. Thank you. Noun A noun is a word that functions as the name of some specific thing or set of things, such as living creatures, objects, places, actions, qualities, states of existence, or ideas. However, noun is not a semantic category, so that it cannot be characterized in terms of its meaning. Thus, actions and states of existence can also be expressed by verbs, qualities by adjectives, and places by adverbs. Linguistically, a noun is a member of a large, open part of speech whose members can occur as the main word in the subject of a clause, the object of a verb, or the object of a preposition. Types of nouns Proper noun Common noun Collective noun Possessive noun Number noun Compound noun Countable noun Uncountable noun Masculine noun Feminine noun Proper noun Names of people or places such as your name, your friend's name, your parent's name or the name of your town and country are special naming words. These words are called proper nouns. Special naming words or proper nouns always begin with a capital letter. Example sentences of proper noun My name is Mark. Her name is Sophie. Come Tom, let us go for a walk. Hello Jack. Will you play with me? I have seen the Great Wall of China. These bears are from China. Albert Einstein was born in Germany. My cousin lives in Norway. Theo and La are close friends. Common Noun Common nouns are naming words that are common to people, places, things and animals etc. Common nouns do not define any particular person, place or thing. They are general names. So, they are not capitalized unless they begin a sentence. For example boy, girl, doctor, town, city, dog, car and so on. Example sentences of common noun. Teachers teach in school. Birds live on trees. I love to read storybooks. Sally's mother is a doctor. These chocolates and cakes are so delicious. Sony produces cameras too. Alicia and Kathy were playing with a doll. Sandy is joining school today. Hens have laid eggs at Todd's farm. The postman Mr. Robert was carrying postcards. Collective nouns Collective nouns are used to name a group of persons, places, animals or things. A collective noun represents a complete whole. For examples, a library of books, a team of players and a family of four. Some collective nouns are used to name a group of animals and birds. A flock of sheep. A herd of cattle. A stud of horses. A gaggle of geese. A litter of cubs. A flock of birds. A shoal of fish. A pack of wolves. A swarm of bees. A crew of sailors. An army of soldiers. A band of musicians. A bunch of keys. A pile of clothes. A collection of books. A string of pearls. Possessive noun. A possessive noun is a word that names who or what has or owns something. We add an apostrophe and s to form the possessive of most singular nouns. Example sentences of possessive noun. This is Bob's skateboard. Means, the skateboard belongs to Bob. This is Ian's coat. Means, the coat belongs to Ian. Papa bought a new frame for Grandpa's spectacles. Dad's dream for a bicycle came true on his birthday. Julia's homework was not checked. Sometimes we need to show possession for plural nouns or where the owners are more than one. In such cases we add an apostrophe at the end. A girl's school is located near my house. We should not harm the birds' nests. Number noun Number nouns denote one or many. There are two kinds of number nouns. Singular number noun. It stands for one person, animal, thing or place. Plural number noun. It stands for more than one person, animal, thing or place. For example, one toy, three balls, 
two dogs, five cars, nine planets and so on. Generally, by adding as at the end, we can change a singular noun to a plural noun. There are different rules we follow to change a singular noun to a plural noun. Rules Rule 1 If there is vowel before Y just add S to form its plural dot for example, boy, boy's day, day's trolley, trolley's toy, toys Rule 2 When a singular noun ends with O after a vowel, adds to make it a plural noun dot for example, bamboo, bamboo's radio, radio's video, videos. Rules Rule 3 when a singular noun ends with O after a consonant, we add S to make it a plural noun dot for example. Tomato tomatoes. Volcano volcanoes. Hero heroes. Rule 4. If a singular noun ends with a sound like such as SS, SH, CH, X, Z, we add S to make it plural dot for example. Box boxes. Watch watches. Dress dresses. Quiz quizzes. Rules Rule 5 If a singular noun ends with F or FE, change the F into V and add S to make it plural. Life lives calf calf slow floves knife knives irregular plural plurals of some nouns remains the same dot for example, fish fish deer deer cattle cattle sheep sheep bison bison plural of some nouns are totally different from their singular form dot for example. Mouse my sock socks and cactus cacti child children man man. Compound nouns Compound nouns are formed by joining two nouns together. There are three different ways to form compound nouns. The closed form, like notebook, firefly and keyboard. The hyphenated form, like x-ray, co-pilot and mother-in-law. The open form, like post office, history book, mineral water. Example sentences of compound noun Ian looked at his timetable. It was going to be lunchtime. The basketball match was scheduled in the afternoon. Just after the breakfast, Matt rushed to his tracksuit. X-rays were discovered by Wilhelm Conrad Rentgen. Countable noun Nouns that can be counted are called countable nouns. Most of the nouns come in the category of countable nouns rather than uncountable nouns because they refer to things, people or animals that can be counted. Example sentences of countable noun I saw two owls sitting on the tree. There are four milk bottles in the fridge. My father has two cars. I need an umbrella to get out in the rain. To make this cake we need an egg. Note, we use the for some singular nouns which are unique one of their kind. For example, the earth, the sun, the moon etc. Uncountable noun nouns that cannot be counted are called uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns also known as mass noun. We cannot count certain things in numbers such as milk, rain, sugar, water, jam. We have to use words like, a glass of milk, a jar of sugar a jug of water or a bottle of jam. We can use terms like, a little, plenty or a bowl of with uncountable nouns. Though these nouns can be measured, they cannot be counted. Such nouns do not have a singular or plural form. The noun, gender. Noun words can be divided into masculine and feminine. Masculine nouns. Masculine nouns represent males, boys, men and male animals. For example, prince, man, king, boy, cock, lion etc. Feminine nouns. Feminine nouns represent females, girls, women and female animals. For example, princess, woman, queen, girl, hen, lioness, etc. But there are some nouns that represent both males and females. For example, children, artists, principals, teachers, singers, lawyers, etc. Thank you for watching the video please subscribe to our channel test your English grammar for more videos regarding English grammar.